How is it going everyone? Dax here and today we're reacting to the new Cause Cause Art video reacting to how a nuclear war will start minute by minute. Let's get straight to it. Ah yes, just how I like my Fridays. Terrified of nuclear war. Let's go. It'll be transparent because of copyright reasons by the way. Um, and away we go. Mr. President, nuclear missiles will strike our country in 14 minutes. Mm. I know it's your first day in office, so I'm going to walk <laughs> you through it, but you're the only one who can authorize our nuclear retaliation in response, and you've only got a few minutes to make a decision. As Jesus you know, Christ. tensions have escalated rapidly in the past few days. Today's joint allied aerial defense exercise began just minutes before we detected Wait, the Wait, what was the country's names again? <laughs> make a decision. As you know, tensions have escalated rapidly in the Terrarian Union and the Duckist the Empire. Days. <laughs> Today's joint allied aerial defense exercise began just minutes before we detected the launch. A simple misunderstanding, maybe. We assume the sudden attack is meant to neutralize as many of our nuclear forces as possible. But that doesn't matter now. Missiles are in the air, and we can't shoot all of them down. Why? Because intercontinental ballistic missiles are basically rockets launched into space before re-entering the atmosphere over their target and releasing many different warheads. Okay, Higher oh god, and faster what the hell? Than anything you can send after them. We need to get you to the bunker. Okay. Here's what we know. Four minutes ago, our new infrared monitoring satellites detected 112 bursts consistent with ICBM launches from the enemy's inner territories. For some reason, only 20 of their 80 underground nuclear silos seem to have fired, so we suspect most of them were transporter erector launches. You know, trucks with big missiles on them. Oh, it's okay, thank you. why they didn't Clarify use that. <laughs> all their silos. They mm -hmm. might just not work after more than 30 years, or they might be keeping them in reserve. The fog of war is keeping many things unclear. Aerospace Command thinks the ICBMs are targeting our nuclear command centers, silos, and major air force and navy bases, ending this war before we have a chance to act. The enemy's strategic Jesus doctrine Christ. prioritizes Christ. military targets and our nuclear weapon systems, but their secondary targets... It's scary that there's people out here that have to deal with this situation. Like This is a real-life thing that people have to go through, situations in their heads that they have to discuss, like, to discuss with each other, like, what are they going to do if this happens? All right, industry ah. and infrastructure, all refineries, power stations, and deep Takes water one ports, crazy person to press the button. located near or in major population centres. We won't know the exact casualty count for a few weeks. Deaths from the blast and burns may be a few million today, it's morning rush hour, and there's not much to be done for people stuck in traffic. People in major metro Jesus areas can't Christ. really evacuate, but emergency broadcasts are being sent out to shelter in place and away from windows. Radiation exposure for intact population centers is highly dependent on the weather over the next week. We might be oh. looking at dozens of millions of deaths by the end of the month. Oh for the God. next few minutes, we can still respond. But you need to decide. We've got 1,500 God, warheads okay. across our silos, bombers, and submarines. The 400 in silos need to be launched now before they get taken out. 46 nuclear-capable bombers on high alert can be ready to take off in two minutes, though we need to transmit the order right away to get them out of the blast radius if you want to consider using them. Of our 40 nuclear submarines, five are presently at sea. While they're submerged, they're undetectable, so that's our backup for a nuclear retaliation if we lose our silos and bombers. Oh, God! We could try to use them to bomb out their remaining silo fields before they can launch them. The sooner you commit to but it, what's the, the point? better the chance we have. You've already lost at that rate anyway, so you just want your enemy to lose as well. This is why nuclear war is never an option, probably. Because, like, every option you have is just going to be lose-lose for both sides. ...of preventing a further exchange after our retaliation. Updates. We have radar confirmation that the enemy ICBMs have completed their burn and deployed their warheads. Mm -hmm. Our best guess is that each missile will deploy at least six re-entry vehicles, about 600 in total, which is the part that carries a warhead back into the atmosphere during its terminal descent onto the target, and with many more decoys on top of that, inflatable balloons meant to waste any anti-missiles. We're now tracking mm. nearly 4,000 potential targets. Mm. Our anti-ballistic missiles have been launched and will begin their intercept in another minute. We'll do our best to protect the capital, Jesus. although there really is no defense. Wow. Wait. Confirming a partial radar blackout. Our systems seem to be glitchy. The enemy must have anticipated we'd launch our interceptors and pre-detonated a few warheads at high altitude. That ionizes the atmosphere and creates radar interference. 
Our uh, interceptors should still operate okay. They've had a 55% success rate in tests, but 55. never this many decoys or with radar interference this intense. We might shoot down 50 objects, but there's this no is guarantee in their warhead. It looks like most bombs are going to get through. This is our last chance to counterattack. We're out of time. Our silent launch sequence takes five minutes. We have to transmit and confirm a launch order, and the missile needs time to clear the blast radius of the incoming bomb. This is a lot to take in, but the warp plan is made. You just need to enter the launch authorization codes and push this button to transmit them. Oh you my can't God. do anything else to save more of our people. If you don't launch now, then this war will be over before it even begins. You understand, this is our one chance, right? The effect? Enemy civilian casualties are hard to estimate, but should be similar to ours. A few million right away, perhaps a few tens of million by the end of the month. Oh God, the sad. total fallout from their attacks and ours might trigger a nuclear winter, potentially killing billions around the world, but that oh might happen even if we don't retaliate. God. I'm sure you have questions, but you have to give orders without expecting answers right now. With an attack of this scale, there's no guarantee Ooh. communications or assets will be intact in a few minutes. We're out of time. We need a decision, sir. Can we launch? Nuclear wars aren't regular wars. They only yeah. last minutes, and in times of crisis, small conflicts can rapidly spiral out of control. Anything from small communication lags to sensor errors to just uncertainty in the fog of war mean that no leader will ever have a complete idea of what's happening as a crisis unfolds. Jesus. When tensions are high, accidents or misunderstandings can steer leaders, even those with good intentions, to launch a nuclear attack. Confused and with incomplete information, a single person Yes, it's really just one single person who decides can literally mm -hmm. make civilization ending decisions, killing hundreds of millions of people in the time it takes to watch a YouTube video. Yep. This story is fiction, but the world came very close to this several times. In 1995, oh, Russian radar detected a submarine launch missile and their nuclear forces went on full alert, except it was actually a scientific rocket to study auroras. In 1979, uh... U.S. computers reported a full-scale Soviet attack with only minutes to respond, except it was a training tape being incorrectly loaded into a computer. Oh my in God! What? The Soviet satellite alert <laughs> system ridiculous. showed five ICBMs launched from the U.S., but it was a false alarm caused by sunlight reflected on clouds. During the Cuban mm. Missile Crisis, a Soviet submarine with no contact to Moscow for several days concluded that nuclear war had begun and decided to launch a nuclear torpedo. Luckily, the authorization of three officers was required. One of them, Vasily Arshipov, opposed it. But yes. what if he hadn't? Any oh my safe God. can fail no matter how carefully designed it might be. And oh decisions God. are being made right now to build new weapons and missile systems that commit the world to another century of nuclear stalemate, complicated yes. further by China's emergence as a new nuclear superpower. Simply accepting that the existence of nuclear weapons is inevitable might mean their use is inevitable. But the world doesn't have to be this way. Even incremental steps taking apart one bomb at a time will eventually result in a world with none. During the Cold War... This is something that will never happen, though. We talk about world peace and get rid of nuclear bombs, but this is... And who would make the first move? The person that... The person that... The, the country that makes the first move will be vulnerable. Therefore, they would have no way of retaliation, stopping them from other people using the bombs. So it's just a stalemate in a stalemate. You can't War. change that. The world that. had over 70,000 nuclear weapons. Through arms oh reduction treaties, that number is now about 12,500. That's not bad. But then you've got to have everyone cooperate, and that's not going to happen ever. There's always a country out there that would just want it because they need it. Do you know what Progress I mean? Progress is not guaranteed, but yeah. it's also not impossible. Governments it's... and militaries are not separate from their nations. They're part of them, just like you. You have the power to make demands of your leaders, and often this begins with just being aware of an issue. If you want to learn more, we've compiled a number of resources for you in the video description and our sources. This video... I disagree with that. We have, we have no power. <laughs> we have a power over who we choose to be in, in the lead of our countries, but we don't get to choose those parties that are in the lead like they get to form themselves so therefore you're choosing one person from a party to represent to be a prime minister to be a president yet you don't get to choose those parties because they've already been formed and they already have a a, a, a load of people following already so you, no i don't agree with that we don't have any power but we have minute power which then we tend to argue over 
to see who is the more of the right person. But at the end of the day, everyone's wrong. The video was supported by Open Philanthropy. Did you know that there are countless more Kurzgesagt videos that we upload on TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and oh, Instagram I didn't know this. Reels? Bite-sized information, animated facts, and inspiring thought experiments. After Heck. all, you also need videos you can watch quickly in a bathroom break. Our long also, I now have Daxel's Shorts instead of VODs. I've changed the channel Daxel's VODs to Shorts, so make sure you check out that channel as well. For me, short form content. Are happening Let's here go. on YouTube. Short form <laughs> is a completely different challenge that we're trying to do as well as possible. Check them out okay. if you're curious. And if you want to discuss and share your thoughts about science with other like-minded people, why don't you check out our Discord community with over 80,000 burbs? We have channels oh, where really? you can about STEM topics, participate in events, and the academic question of the week. And we have the best emotes. After all, Sick. we want to spark your curiosity, but it's always more fun to be curious together. See you over there. Sick, good video. That was a short one. This feels like it was, um... This was quite quick, just after the, the black hole one, which is kind of cool. They normally take about a month to do, so I like that. I like this. Very good, very good.